so guys welcome to the sixth problem post book it's one of the easiest challenge let's get it started so a uh, simple post book that lets you write in publish your own post uh, you can choose them as public or private post okay the first thing says the username user has a easy password so let's try to sign in so we know for sure the username is user the password um, there is this uh, Git repository called checklist uh, so they have uh, a 25 password is the top password shortlist so i mean you can try to uh, brute force them in the pop switch intruder but i'm going to do it manually so i'm just going to copy this and then try to paste so username is user and password is password and ta -da. that's how you get your first flag for second flag it tells about a post and the change in the id so as you know uh, there are two posts one is um post with id parameter one second post with parameter id three so two is missing right and you know right uh, it lets you write a public and a private post so most probably it's uh, the post with the id two is a private post but let's try to see if we can see uh the second post uh, so simply replace three by two and ta -da, that's our second flag and it's a secret diary okay uh for the third flag it will definitely inspect element on the form when creating a new post okay we can also write a new post let's try to see the inspect element as the hint says uh, expand recursively uh, uh, what happened expand recursively and <coughs> So this form takes in this PHP page uh, and there is one input with hidden type and name user ID. Okay, that's interesting. Let's try to uh, post a test ID test and also I am proxying my request with Bob Suite. I already have configured it. So yeah, let's submit it. So post was created. So I'm going to see that request in uh, my Bob Suite. So this is a post uh, request with uh, interesting parameter user ID equals to two. In this case, user ID equals to two will be me, the user, the user ID equals to one will be, uh, will obviously be an admin. So if I send this to a repeater and if I change this to one and make this request, it will restore, uh, it will restore this uh, post as user one's uh, post in the database. So yeah and that's how we get the another flag and if you go back here if you see in the home uh you will see two posts one from user and one from admin uh, because we make uh, because we made two requests right as a user uh two and uh, as a user one um let's see another flag 189 into 5 it will be 945 so if we simply try to see the post with id nine five you'll get an another flag uh, another flag you can edit your own post whatever someone sells so let's try to edit a post so let's try to edit now no let's try to edit this post uh so let's write it as edit it edit and let's save it okay edit it if you see in the home this test was edited let's see this same request in the bob suite um so that will be this with edited php and then yeah that is our uh, edited parameters so let's send this to repeater and then so it's trying to change the uh the post with id4 right uh, we know the first post uh, first uh, post has an id1 let's try to change that okay that the first post is from an admin and we must not be uh, able to change that but let's see uh, that's how you get your the flag uh, let's see if we changed the first post from admin and yeah we can uh, edit that post and cookie 5 tells about uh, cookie and signing as user one which is admin so if you see this request once again uh, we have this header called cookie g a and g id there are something else id uh, if you remove this uh, and then try to make a request it will 
detail try to render it it will uh, it will not let you make that request uh, it will instruct you to either sign in or sign up because this id that is just remove uh, this id is a session id so when you make this request uh, to the server the server will check if this id is a valid session id and if it is it will let you you know make the request this id in this case is some sort of a hash so if i simply try to identify this hash it will be uh so if i try identify hash uh, there is this site called hash analyzer so it tells it's md5 or md4 so let's say we want to uh, decrypt uh, md5 and if it's not we'll try to check for md4 as well uh so 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 let's orient and if it has let's try to decrypt it so the result is two so it seems like uh, the developer he, he uh, simply uh, has the our user id which is two to md5 and he simply used that as a session id so to uh to be able to be login as an admin uh with a uh, with a whose user id is one we simply have to has one as an md5 so that will be okay i know it's many sites i don't know if they're inside which lets you do all fun so simply let's copy this and now let's try to make a request as an admin uh, by changing his id uh session id so if we do that uh, 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 yeah we are actually now signed in uh, and this is our flag and so yeah again guys you can use this id uh, what you can do is like go back here if you go to not memory so if you go here to the cookies and if you can change this id uh, to the id that is just copied to the hash value one you can actually log in as an admin right from here uh, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Um, and deleting a post seems to take an ID that is not a number. Can you figure out what it is? So let's try to delete a post. Um, uh, 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 let's try to delete this post. This post was deleted. Let's see that request in the proxy. So delete.psp is here. So this uh, request has an ID with some sort of a hash and here is our flag <laughs> so the idea of this flag is to actually analyze this id uh, this is an md5 hash uh, hash of uh, id4 so if you want to delete a uh, the first post from admin you simply have to put the hash uh, of one and you can make a request and delete that post so yeah that's it for this video guys uh, if you have any question leave it down in the comment section see you guys bye bye take care